in the process of making a bending break. Um, it's about three feet long. And in order to bend, get sharper bends on the material, I've been flattening one edge of this angle iron. It's still hot. It's three eighths of an inch thick by about, I haven't measured it, it's probably three inches. But you can see that I have flattened that edge out. Um, I didn't worry about the back side so much. I was at first, but I just really need one good edge. So I concentrated on getting the material down on this, and I've had to grind on it for, I don't know, it seems like an hour or so, maybe even longer, a couple hours. And so I, I didn't bother with this side. And then what I did is I would try to take down this inside edge with a sander. And then I took this belt sander, which actually spanned this distance, and I was able to run it back and forth to get it uh, pretty even. Now if you look right here, you can see a little bit of a line right down kind of toward the middle. The left side is the flat edge. The right side I actually ground down, um, so I had less material to take off with the belt sander because the belts on that don't do nearly as well as like this flap disc. So anyway, I just built this little stand for it to hold it up and I uh, clamped it down in order to do this and I actually put it against the table um, figures um, right in the middle of recording and then I get a phone call. I haven't had a phone call anyway. So there is that, and then I will go ahead and create the rest of it. I'm not going to really show it because they're, it's just going to take too long. And I don't want to edit all that material, but I will show the final product. This is the bend that I did. It bent in a little bit more on the edges than it did on the center, um, which is pretty standard. So get this up to your 90s and then you can pull your corners back out and, and do whatever you need to do. But this is a 33 and 3 quarter inch piece of 16 gauge cold rolled steel. And I could do heavier than this, but I don't see, foresee a need to do that in the future. I just want to show the sheet metal break I made for a project that I'm working on, which is this one down here. Um, I haven't been making videos of this project because of how long it's taking. But anyway, um, just to tell you a little bit about the sheet metal break, this top table piece right here is 3 16 inch uh, thick, and it goes all the way down. And then I have quarter inch by inch and a half pieces that are welded to it to help uh, strengthen it up. And then this uh, piece on top right here and this piece right here are both 3 inch square by 3 8 angle iron. I welded some bolts, just tacked them actually, onto this and it comes up through a hole that I drilled through this angle iron. There's a spring here to pick it up. As you can see this edge right here, you may not be able to see. I ground that down right there and it's got a nice flat edge and that allows me to get a sharper bend and then I added this bracing here I don't know if I like this yet or not or if it's even needed I do think it is needed to some degree but I don't I made this pretty tall I may shorten it um, depending on if it gets in the way or not but this bracing allows me to clamp this down harder in the middle than it was um, I was getting sharper bends on the edges than I was in the middle, so that was to uh, prevent that. And what I do is I just put the material in, clamp it down on the edges, just like you've seen on a lot of other videos on YouTube, and then I take this arm and bend it up. The hinges are just some half, oh, I think it's 5 8 inch inside diameter pipe and just some 5 8 inch bolts. These are actually grade 8 bolts, it's what I happen to have around. Um, kind of on a side note, I was using this before, uh, greasing these up, and it was fine, but it was a little rough. I just had some lithium grease and I sprayed it on here. 
or in here and it actually operates very smoothly now so anyway that's all there is to it it did take quite a while to make but the biggest the biggest part of it was uh, was grinding this down anyway so this from inside of the hinge to the inside of the hinge I believe is 33 and 3 quarter inches and I bent a full piece of 16 gauge cold rolled still in there and it bent just fine I could probably go a little thicker I think I tried like a five and a quarter inch piece of I think it was 10 gauge still and that was too much for it. Um, it it bent it but it wasn't as clean as it needed to be so then I stuck it on my hydraulic brake and that worked fine so its capacity is smaller than 10 gauge but I could probably go maybe 14 gauge I don't think that would be very fun um, but 16 gauge is what I plan on using it for so I've needed this for a long time as if you've watched my other videos you see that I usually make relief cuts in the 16 gauge still um, clamp everything down then bend it with a, hand, a rubber mallet and then re-weld things so this will help out in the long run This is 26 and a quarter inch cold rolled steel. I overbent it a little bit without thinking too much. And there it is, encased. I have to redesign. I have to redesign the top case so I can actually put another bend right here. But my table's not wide enough to cut that. That'd be about 30 inches, and I've only got like 24. Actually, I think it's more like 28 inches, and I only have 24. If I redesign the bottom case to be higher, like that rather than the lower edge, I can redesign the case so I can put the two bends in it and have the least amount of welding possible.